Kiki Harrigan time. Well, Superwoman has put the cape on yet again. I'm Kiki, and I'm a forward for the London Lions. I attended the University of South Carolina. It was an incredible four years. I uh, won a national championship my freshman year. Uh, winning an NCAA championship so early in my college career gave me a lot of confidence because it showed me how much hard work and dedication it takes, you know, to get to that winning level. I was fortunate to play with a lot of great players throughout my years at South Carolina, and I mean, you know, the older players always showed me how to lead, so I feel like that's something that has helped me a lot during that uh, championship run. My senior year, got drafted uh, first round six pick, uh, to the WNBA, so overall my college experience is great. Being a first round draft pick, I feel like it is a lot of pressure, you know, especially to start off your uh, pro career, but I feel like as long as you're true to who you are and confident in yourself, uh, you know, you don't really pay attention to the pressure as much. My strengths on the court is I can shoot the ball very well, uh, I can put the ball on the floor, love playing defense, and I feel like I'm a great shot blocker. So Mad Kiki came about my senior year in college. Um, I guess I'm a really aggressive player on the court, uh, especially like when I block shots, that gets me very hyped. So you guys will definitely meet Mad Kiki this season. The women's game has evolved tremendously throughout my career. I'm seeing girls in middle school dunking now. Seeing stuff like that gives us like, you know, a lot of hope for the future. My motivation and my drive comes from, I come from a very small island, you know, moved to the United States when I was young, and just knowing that it's a lot of kids, especially back home, that look up to me, and that hasn't had the opportunity, but just to let them know that no matter where you come from, you can still make it. I think it's very important for younger girls to have aspirational women role models in sports, just so they can know that, you know, it's possible, and to dream big, and to keep working hard, and your dreams can come true. Previously, within the last year, my motivation shifted a little bit more. I uh, had a son a year ago. Not having, you know, other little kids look up to me anymore. I have one of my own looking up to me. So, I mean, I feel like that's kind of shifted my motivation a little bit. Being a mom and being an athlete is very challenging at times, but if you have a bad day on the court or whatever it may be, and you go home and see a little one, I feel like that kind of just brightens up your day. I have a very great support system. So for me, it hasn't, I mean, you know it gets tough, but for me, it hasn't been too much, you know, that I can't handle because I have a great support system behind me. I'm very excited to join a team that has this long, ongoing winning streak. I feel like we can add tremendously to that. So just to continue winning, um, I don't feel much pressure to that because I know the work that we put in. We're just looking forward to continuing that streak.